or in the words of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, together we must learn to live as brothers and sisters or we will be forced to perish as fools. This year's theme, New Majority 2022, the opportunity for building allyship, picks up the next phase of the theme introduced in 2018 by organizer of the Asian American Business Development Center, AABDC. Allyship requires awareness, advocacy, accountability, and collective action to make the work impactful. As part of our Stronger Together program, we announced a commitment of more than $1 million in support of the Asian American business community, including working with partners like the Asian American Business Development Center. Hennessy want to support the communities that have supported us for so long. Unfinished Business has provided over $7.5 million in funds to over 2,000 Black, Asian, and Latinx-owned small businesses throughout the United States of America. We must raise our ambitions, commit to tackling the challenges, and lift the voices of all minority communities together as a united business community. This is how we can demonstrate our commitment to building allyship. And allyship, it just basically breaks away from that and basically says, we're working together and we're going to move progress and the future of this country. We are one. And so when one of us are impacted, all of us are impacted. And it's going to be incumbent upon all of us to support each other because, you know, when we start talking to each other, as opposed to at each other, we understand that we all have the same common needs to be able to thrive in this great society that we live. The violence in our city, I think about, the next thing we have to do together is to figure out how do we stop saying Asian, Latino, Black, White is like, how do we start to really think about the majority, minority, and to start to do real work together? We all have bias. To be human is to have bias. We have conscious bias and we have unconscious bias. Part of the opportunity of where we are at this moment in time to move forward together is um, an opportunity to more deeply understand the biases that we have. And we work to change our practices, policies, and systems so that there's equity for the most underrepresented and they're able to succeed, their voices are heard, their talents can come to play in how we make decisions and invest and, and move our companies forward. Providing platforms for uh, having courageous conversations. How do we think about the needs of those groups, but then a lot of the needs are also common and how the groups come together and support each other. A lot of what we're doing um, with our ERGs is around allyship. Listening to our people, our consumers, our people internally, and translating that into how we run our business. The second area we believe is actually at the younger age. Plant the seeds when, with youth. How many opportunities are there for these youth of different backgrounds to spend time together and build relationships? So we want to support organizations here in New York City that promote, promote youth activities between the Black, Latino, and Asian communities. Um, so that the key at the individual level is to reach out to understand other people's perspective, right? And so. So if we do that uh, in, at the individual level, you'll come to a mutual understanding. When you talk about actions to, to, to bring people together, I just want to reiterate, don't assume malicious intent. And when you hear something that doesn't feel right, doesn't sound right, stand up and, and, and make your voice heard.